I want to bring you back with the Fox News Alert. Senator John McCain of Arizona has been diagnosed with brain cancer tonight. The senator underwent a procedure last week at the Mayo Clinic to remove a blood clot, and during the surgery, doctors discovered that tumor. When we're joined by Fox News national correspondent Ed Henry right here on the set. Well, Tucker, good to see you. Obviously, a lot of people in Washington, all around the country, around the world, uh, thinking and praying for Senator John McCain tonight as they get this news. Our own colleague, Megan McCain, from here at Fox News, of course, daughter uh, of Senator McCain, has just put out a very emotional statement. I want to read it. She says, quote, the news of my father's illness has affected every one of us in the McCain family, my grandmother, mother, brother, sister, and I have all endured the shock of the news, and now we live with the anxiety about what comes next. It is an experience familiar to us, given my father's previous battle with cancer, and is familiar to the countless American families whose loved ones were also stricken with the tragedy of disease and the inevitability of age. If we could ask anything of anyone now, it would be the prayers of those of you who would understand this all too well. We would be so grateful for them. This is from Megan McCain. She adds, it won't surprise you to learn that in all this, the one of us who is most confident and calm is my father. He is the toughest person I know. The cruelest enemy could not break him. The aggressions of political life could not bend him. So he is meeting this challenge as he has every other. Cancer may afflict him in many ways, but it will not make him surrender. Nothing ever has. Megan McCain concludes that, quote, my love for my father is boundless. And like any daughter, I cannot and do not wish to be in a world without him. I have faith that those days remain far away. Yet even in this moment, my fears for him are overwhelmed by one thing above all, gratitude for our years together and the years still to come. He is a warrior at dusk, one of the greatest Americans of our age, and the worthy heir to his father's and grandfather's name. But to me, he is something more. He is my strength, my example, my refuge, my confidant, my teacher, my rock, my hero, my dad. A very emotional statement from our colleague here at Fox, Megan McCain tonight, daughter, of course, of Senator John McCain, a public servant who, I mean, Tucker, to say that his public service is about uh, time in the Senate and chairman of the Senate Armed Services Committee would be obviously a vast understatement, a man who served uh, this country with such uh, heroics, uh, particularly uh, during the Vietnam War, That's prisoner sure. of war. So, uh, Whereas, all of us as you were reading tonight. a Megan statement where we got um, statements from basically every mm -hmm. American political figure of note still alive saying the same thing. And I, and I will say one thing, I spent a year with McCain once, whatever you think of his politics, truly a tough man, for real. That's not... And as Megan laid out, uh, he was not uh, scared by his captors yeah. in Vietnam, and he's going to take this, take on this challenge just like he's taken on Refused every release. other challenge in his life. Amen. Ed Henry, thank you for Good that. See you, Tucker. Appreciate it.